Pushing the light. Who? You know. Oh, she's not there. Not like you would even care if she was. Mind your tongue, boy! Until our journey is over, one of us must remain focused. Do not mistake my silence for lack of grief. Mourn how you wish. Leave me to my own. I'm sorry. I didn't realize. No. Why would you? You do not know my ways. I know it has not been easy. In the light, I felt only moments pass. If that is of some comfort to you. That's good to know. Really? So, should we go back to Midgard? Face the Black Breath? Or do you think there's more to see in this realm? Sindri said... Mother was a warrior. Was she in a war too? Of a sort. Her family was decimated by hostile rivals, and she alone survived. She walked the warrior's path, but her war was to live on, to brave an unforgiving world alone. And that's why she asked Sindri and Brock to make her the axe? She had the strength to wield such a weapon, and the wisdom to use it for good. She found purpose in protecting the weak. So, she'd help out the elves? No. Observant. I am known for my attention to detail. You boys look like you're gearing up for quite the journey. There's an abandoned temple in Midgard that a fellow dwarf converted to his personal storeroom. Packed it with all sorts of treasures he collected during his travels throughout the realms. Throughout the realms? Which ones did he go to? What did he collect? Fafnir was a, shall we say, aggressive collector of magical artifacts. The more he acquired, the more he desired. There was no realm too dangerous, no relic too hazardous. He once ventured deep into Niflheim for a whetstone of all things. Huh. I bet that was quite the whetstone. Does this story have a point? Yes, it does. I just happen to have an entry stone to Fafnir's storeroom. You might find something useful in there. Neat. Thanks, Sindri. You're very welcome. Oh, and uh, if you find that whetstone, well, it sure would be nice of you to bring it to me. I'd advise caution if you're heading to the storeroom. Last I was there, all manner of nastiness had taken up residence. Won't your friend be upset if we steal all the stuff? Oh, <laughs> no. No, not at all. He's dead. I think. Oh, sorry. No, no need to be sorry. These things happen when one travels from realm to realm collecting priceless artifacts that don't belong to you. Until we meet again, my friends. Ready and ready. And what do you have your eye on?
Keeper. Suppose you could try keeping that clean. What? No, no, just a. It was a question. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Now don't be a stranger. Father, I have a confession to make. All those voices in my head, well, this wasn't the first time. Back when we met Brock, his animal warned me about something hiding in the trees. That's why she didn't want to cross. She told you? Well, I could just feel what she was feeling, what she was afraid of. Hmm, it happens again. You tell me, understand? I promise. What does it say? Yes, sir. What does it say? About the eternal war for the light. Do you think it'll stop now after what we did? Unlikely.
know what we're still doing here. Have the light to Midgard. We just came back from another realm, and we met your brother. Wait, not in that order. Did you let that seed sop put hand to your blade? Hmm? You do know he lost his talent, right? Just up and left him one day. <laughs> Tried taking me down with him. Hmm. Did he botch up on her girl? Quite the opposite. Yeah, even a blind pig farts up a truffle now and again. But you know what really counts? Consistency. And I got that coming out of all of my parts. What did you do? It's better. Good. Now when you're done gawking, I got a favor to ask. What is it, Dwarf? There's this alchemist on Vari, been working out in the Velander mines. Haven't heard from him in maybe, I don't know, a hundred winters or so. Probably dead, but uh, maybe you can find him. He's dwarfing like me, wears a fancy green ring. Owes me a favor. You look? If it is on our path. Oh, I see how it is. Not a something for nothing type, are you? Fine. If you find Donvari, I'll make him whip you up something special. This entry stone here ought to get you inside those mines. I need that alchemist for something I'm stewing up for you. If in your smarts, you'll find him. What realm you gents shaking off? Let me guess. All fine? How'd you guess? I'd know that smell anywhere. Used to spend my fair share of time there, but uh, I ain't allowed anymore on account of the uh, incident. What happened? 
Well, ain't too sure your daddy's gonna like me talking about it on account of all the swearing and stealing and fucking involved. What? Don't judge me. You're the one came in all reeking of elf. Stirs up a man's memories. Go on now. I got things that ain't gonna hammer themselves. Suit yourself. Remember the way back to the Black Breath? Of course. We need to walk across the bridge to the Vanaheim Tower. Are we going to the Black Breath? Or exploring? Your choice. Did you see something out there? I see no tower. Maybe I'm seeing things. I wish we could have gone on a trip like this with Mother. She could fight. Couldn't she? Yes. She fought. Beautifully. Hey, we can dock here. Know any good stories to pass the time? What kind of story? I don't know. Mother always had stories. Weren't you told me when you were a boy? There was a man I knew of long ago. 
His stories were brief and purposeful. Sounds fun. Do you remember any? Let's set that aside. We must proceed on foot. Can we finish later? Perhaps. Boy, over here. Sir. Hey, it's another treasure map. And face me, God of Thunder! Your challenges mean nothing to the gods, spirit. They do not listen. Do not mock my pursuit of vengeance. Though my family devoted their lives to worshipping Thor, I've devoted mine to his downfall. And I will start with that statue looming over my father's grave. Unlikely. You are dead. Is there something we can do? For a reward, of course. If you bring down the statue, you have my blessing to loot my father's grave. He rests on an island to the east. Why do you hate Thor so much? After my father passed, my mother built the statue to watch over his grave. Imagine our surprise when the God of Thunder himself came to offer condolences. At first we were thrilled, but he quickly took advantage of our hospitality. My mother begged him to leave, and Thor, in his drunken rage, killed her. I was left with nothing but grief. Eventually, I lost that as well, and found only rage in its place. I... I'm so sorry. Come, boy. We have a statue to destroy. Oh yeah, that's the answer. My father's grave lies on an island to the east. 
Do not mistake my mother's statue of Thor with that monstrous eyesore to the south. I cannot rest while my mother's murderer stands above my father's grave. whose mom was killed by Thor? What about him? Let his story be a reminder. The lives of men mean nothing to the gods. I know, Father. You know. But do you listen? Yes. <laughs> Good. So what story were you going to tell? <laughs> there was one that concerned a hare and a tortoise. Like the witch's house? Unlikely. So what happens? They wager on a race between them. The hare is too confident of victory and foolish, while the tortoise is steady and disciplined. But set that aside. We must proceed on foot. Can we finish later? Perhaps. Scare up that alchemist what needed finding? All right, what'd you break? Moving on then.
That was good, right? I see improvement. What happened to these people? Follow the clues. Okay. Well, scorch marks. They're all grouped together. So maybe they were hiding from some kind of fire breather. But they died anyways. <laughs> Look here. Yes, sir. Curse the Dwarf King. Bane of mankind. Sounds like he wasn't a very good king. I wonder why they hated him so much. They are dead now. Doesn't matter. No. I'm just curious. Curiosity is dangerous, boy. Stay focused. Read it. Yes, sir. Veda Dowther. It means hunting death. Great. How do you even begin to build statues this big? Dwarves are resourceful creatures. Annoying, but resourceful. I guess they must have been pretty important dwarves. So, what happened with the hare and the tortoise? The tortoise wins. You... I haven't told a lot of stories, have you? Well, here it is. It's gotta have a weak point. Somewhere. Come <laughs> on. 
his father's grave. Find anything good? Perhaps. Father, we're going to bring down that statue, right? planning on doing this himself.
not fall this easily, boy. I know, I know. I was just joking. Nor are they a joking matter. Sorry. Father, why did the gods cause so much trouble for us? Because that is their nature. But with all that power, you would think at least some of them would try to make life better for people. And yet, the gods continue to spread misery. This is life, boy. Want to try another story? It can't be any worse than the last one. Very well. There was a horse. The horse sought vengeance upon his enemy, a stag. But he could not kill the stag alone. The horse met a man, a hunter, and made a deal. He took the man's bit and bridle and allowed him to ride in a saddle on his back. Together, they killed the stag, and the horse tasted victory. But the hunter would not release the horse, and made a slave of him. So getting revenge cost him his freedom. Hope it was worth it. It was not. Do you hear that? Is that a dragon? I've never seen one so close. There's something over there. I'm getting the hang of this. Wonder who wrote this. <laughs> 